Did you guys hear the news? There's been some leaked footage from Area 51, I know. And it's about the incident at Grove Lake. No, stop. I wasn't by Grove Lake. Jeremy can be my alibi. I had nothing to do with this incident. Nobody got stabbed with a sword. I didn't do anything in this. Okay? <laughs> Welcome everyone to a new adventure in the incident Grove Lake. My name is Pecan, and I think this is a game about aliens, which makes sense because it's, you know, Area 51. This game also contains flashing lights and imagery, so be warned if that's something that may affect you. But apparently this tape of things leaked from Area 51 was sent to a private investigator, which is not me. I don't have those qualifications. I'm not even a koala. <laughs> qualifications. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, hmm. Man, they make Area 51 look so boring, but I know they've got wacky stuff in there. That's actually where I found Jeremy, you know, a little bit of Jeremy lore for ya. Um, found him from Area 51. There's a car driving up. Ooh, they get to go in. Oh, but when I try to go into Area 51, it's, ooh, get down the ground. Ooh, yeah, you're going to prison. Do you think they got aliens in there? I don't think so. I feel like the aliens would be able to break out. Connecting the server. If I can break out of prison, so can, so can an alien, you know. Host client. What are we hacking into? I don't know anything about this. Whoa. Oh, a payphone. Accessing audio. Click to begin. Sure. Huh? Target. I appreciate you taking my call. Why are they? Why? Why are they? Why are they called, called Target? That seems. You know. Mm -hmm. Unknown. Oh, this must be the person leaking the footage to the private investigator. Why are they still called Target though? Let's get this straight. You got out? Unnoticed? Medical discharge. They think I had a kidney stone? I don't think you'd be able to so easily fool them, but you never know. Not as smart as they think they are at S4, huh? What's S4? I don't... <laughs> Smarter than you know. So, where are we meeting? Hmm. Sure. Let's make it a public place. I... I think you could probably, they could probably take you out in public place too. Huh. Remember, I don't have a lot of time. Huh. Neither do I. Let's say the diner on Redacted hmm. works for me. I'll bring what I found. What did you find? Good. I'll see you soon. I love you. Sorry. No, you're not supposed to say I love you when you're, you know, exchanging secret leaked information. Um, Remember what I'm risking for this. I remember. Oh, what? What was that? Okay, so they're leaking some stuff. Maybe documentation about aliens? Hmm? Maybe? Somewhere. North of Nevada. Canada? I don't... You don't specify how north. So we're gonna meet up with somebody who apparently is leaking us... It seems too easy. And we're already being watched by the cameras. Got it. You're, you gotta always be watching your back. When you're dealing with such sensitive information, you can't let anybody sneak up on you. You gotta be always on your toes. Always on your toes. Everybody, well, you, technically, if you, if you got toes and you're standing up, you're, I would say you're on your toes, but you, know, you always be head on a swivel, you know. You're always gonna be looking out. Five steps behind you. I'm probably fine. Yeah, I got my eye on you, buddy. And you too, random citizen. You never know who's working for for them. Any of you guys got classified leaked information from Area 51? No? Alright, I'm gonna be by the bar if you do. Oh, uh... Who's got information? You guys got information about Area 51? Do you have information? Okay, you actually... You've got it on the table man this is anyone passing by could be like oh what's that Ooh, ew, leaked. 
Information? We're not doing a great job of being stealthy, I gotta say. Thank you for coming. Well, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I kind of just wanted a cheeseburger. I don't know what else to tell. Wait, so are we ordering food or not? I've risked so much g getting here. <laughs> They're following me. So do we not have time to order food? I don't, I don't have that much time. P please, take these. Some files and just one of many tapes they have. Get this stuff to the public. They need to know before it's too late. If I don't hear from you by the 11th, I'm going public with this. There's a radio station I know of, you know? Please go. Be careful. They'll follow you too. Am I being watched? Pick up tape and files. Wait, so we're not ordering food? Oh, hello. What is this? This is the them. This is the them that they were talking about. We're definitely being followed. September 10th, 1997. Oh, back in my apartment. Man, I would just go public immediately. Why am I waiting to hear from him again? That's a map. That is a map. Pick up tape. Oh, can we play the tape? What is that? Hold on. There's files there. Should I look at the files first? No, I guess you should play the tape. I'm watching this. I'm watching this. What if, what if I accidentally recorded over the tape? What if I accidentally recorded over the private investigative material of like alien life with like a home movie, you know? Dude, watch tape. Oh, okay. I thought I was just going to play. There better be aliens on here, man. We risked a lot, and I did not get to order from my favorite diner. Fallen property is the United States government, blah, blah, blah. Incidents. 17? How many incidents are there? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Redistribution. Listen, I don't know why they're putting this warning on here, because if anyone has the tape that shouldn't, then you should know, right? Falling took place on August 19th to the 21st. All right. Not too long ago, Grove Lake Redacted. Ugh, my favorite place on Earth. Redacted. The facility supervisor. I don't have one of those, I think. Hmm. I'm just here to see those juicy aliens. What if they're... What if they're hot? No, I'm sorry, what, is that why they're hiding it from us? With that the aliens are just really hot, you know? <laughs> also, why if aliens visit Earth? Are they just messing with people going hiking in the middle of the woods? Like, just a random individual who no one would believe if I wasn't filming. And even if I was, they're going to be like, that's not aliens. Why, why are they messing with them? It's because they've got to just be playing pranks. If they've got the technology to reach Earth undetected by most people, like, they got to just be messing with us, right? they got to think we're so stupid and not advanced that they're just pranking us, like... Let's go mess with this random guy in the woods. Nobody's gonna believe him that he found. Ooh. Found anything. We set up camp for the night. You got any marshmallows? It's kind of sad seeing somebody like by the fire themselves, you know? Like alone. So. Well, look at me. I packed up my tent really nicely. You never want to leave anything behind. That's rule number one. Lake. Uh, I've heard bad things about this lake. I've heard bad things about this lake. Extra spooky, extraterrestrial things, particularly. But you know me. Oh, I'm not a. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, that was uh, uncalled for, I would say. Uh, I just. <laughs> I didn't expect birds. That wasn't my bingo card things to expect. I. <laughs> I thought I was just going to be walking to the lake. Jeez. Oh, as I was saying, I'm not afraid of some extra hot aliens, okay? I don't care how hot they are. They're not going to abduct me and do things. Mm -mm. They're not going to... Um, they're not going to take me into their sexy flying saucer. Oh. Oh. Most of us have turned And reporting... That's a weird radio. Pants? Whoa, didn't know it was that kind of lake. Ooh, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. So was that not me camping back there? Is that my campsite? Cause I just left all that. Wait, do I not have pants on? Oh, 
Oh. I guess I left my pants behind. Where we're going, we don't need pants. We're going to go see the aliens. I mean, we're just going to have a nice day at the lake. I don't know what this person is planning. But it seems like they've got ominous plans. It seems like they know about the aliens. I don't know. Is that, is that the tape? Please turn to Supplied Handbook, page 42. We will now review the type of encounters. Wait, types of encounters? I thought that was it. Imagine you're risking your life for that first kind. Oh, this is a flying saucer. What? Visual sighting of an unidentified flying object. That's a UFO for you laymen, you know, who don't know like, what we know in the business. You know, this is called UFOs. Oh, second kind. Oh, that's not a UFO. A UFO with physical effect. Such as interference. Oh, that that is like pretty common, right? They say when they're they're flying over, it messes with a lot of like electricity and stuff, and animals get freaked out with animals' reactions or physical traces, like impressions in the ground, scorch or otherwise, affecting vegetation or a chemical trace. Oh, it's because they're 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 flying flying discs are just so advanced that they they torch our our Earth. Third kind. Whoa. That's just Steve. He's chill. Wait, what, what's he gonna do? Look at he's got a nice little outfit. He's ready. He's ready for a night out in the town. UFO encounters. With an anima animated entity is president. This includes humanoids, robots, and humans who seem to be occupants or pilots of a UFO. What do you mean humanoids? Is that what Steve is? The fourth kind. Whoa, abduction. I hope that doesn't happen to me. I hope that doesn't, you know, <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen to me. Oh, I would hate to be whisked away into a whimsical little flying disc and taken off to a mystifying world of wonder. That would, that would suck so bad, you know. I don't want to be taken into space. A close encounter of the fourth kind is a UFO event in which a human is abducted by a UFO or its occupants. Hmm. I guess if it, they said robots, does that mean, like, there could be, like, a robot piled ufo i don't i don't know following example of ce2 please identify ooh. that's what ooh. where it was interfering with like vegetation animal leaving chemical trails and stuff right so we're not going to have oh any contact or abduction <sighs> i guess no abductions happening they're going to spot a ufo and it's going to like mess with them i guess there it goes. It does just kind of look like a star at first when it's like pretty far away. Wait, wait, wait did it just split off into two? Three? Oh. Can they do that? Is that allowed? Why is it always on the worst camera quality, too? Why? They just kind of flew around, didn't do much. Again, it's always somebody just camping by themselves. They're just messing with them. It's just a prank. Can I oh, I can walk around. Oh. Okay. Oh, gosh. I hope no sexy aliens abduct me in their UFO tonight. Oh, that would suck. Man, I would hate to be abducted and experiments run on me, you know, and maybe take it back to the planet. And, like, they, they're like, whoa, look at this human. Oh! <laughs> No, please don't um, talk to me, sexy. I'm sorry, uh, mysterious aliens. Whoa, what is that? It's glowing. Why is it glowing? Wait, I want to go look at the glow. Whoa. <laughs> Do aliens come with their own orchestra? Because that's pretty impressive. You know, faster than light travel, you know, deep space traveling. That's cool and all. But having your own orchestra? Now that's sick. That is sick. Sick. How do I get in there? What is that, dude? I need to see what that is. Is there a break in the, the bushes somewhere? Is that a house? Whose house is this? Hold on. Wait. Is this my house? Oh. Oh. Oh, are you okay? 
Oh, they're ducking him. Oh, lucky. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, that sucks. So imagine not being able to see your family again. Imagine not having to go to work tomorrow. God, that would suck. Being whisked away to a magically advanced planet with a... Okay, never mind. This looks... It's like very War of the Worlds type thing. Ooh, okay. Now we're cooking with gas. What do you got going on for me in here? Ooh. Oh, it's sloshy. Oh, it... <laughs> it's not gonna be the only thing slosh... What the... F Hello? George? What happened to you, buddy? What is going on in here? Uh... Is that gonna be me next? Gosh, so... So upset. Oh, no. That sucks. I'm gonna be honest. I thought it was gonna be a lot nicer in here. This is kind of getting weird. It's sloshy. There's people hanging up from the walls. Not in a good way, either. A lot of dead people. A lot of dead people. Why are they all naked? That's so weird. Specifically, why naked? Like, I know I should be concerned about other things right now, but, like, the naked people is kind of freaking me out, you know? Um... Maybe it shouldn't be my first priority, but... The sloshing and the nakedness is kind of messing... How did they get the- how did they get this film back? Whoa, where am I going? Where did my pants go? What do they do with all the clothes? They better be donating them. Me on a Friday night? Yep. Yep. Quit complaining! <laughs> Sorry, I know this is a horrible experience for them, and they, you know. Are they just gonna get dumped out? How did the camera end up back outside? I feel like they purposely set it up to film that whole thing when they were doing the weird operations on them, and then they dumped it out. The tape has now concluded. No further footage was recovered. Was the body recovered? Hmm. You will be signing your plan of... <laughs> I didn't sign anything. I'm leaking this stuff. Your discretion is a matter of national security. What is the national security here? That people aren't more wary of these things? Like, oh yeah, there would be mass panic, right? But also, people would be a little bit more hesitant to be walking in the woods alone. Because they're like, maybe I'll get abducted. So maybe telling the public about this might be a good thing so people don't get abducted and weirdly tortured while they're naked, which, oof, you know, it's, it's such a shame. Such a, such a shame. Really, it is. You know, it's horrible. It's horrible what happened to that person. Absolutely tragic. Wish it was me. Sorry, tragic. Tragic. Oh, uh, they're pulling up to my house. I'm going to die. Well, uh, how do I leak this tape faster? Uh oh, hide. What the heck is this? Photos of UFOs. Little alien dudes. Uh, I don't think I should open the door with that just on my desk. Oh, yeah, there's no getting out of this one, huh? Man, we're really into the whole UFO thing. All right. Answer door. That's a dumb idea, honestly. Who, the, who do you think it's going to be? Uh oh. Oh no, it's them. The, the people from the thing. No, you can't do that. Can I get a referee? I don't think he's allowed to do that. <laughs> he just took me out. Like, I've got neighbors, bro. What? November 11th, 1997. A talk show host. Oh. Online, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, 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 I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um... Well, look, let's begin yeah. by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, Area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? 
Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago. This is the person and, who gave us a tape, so they're and, leaking it because they didn't hear from us. Got it, got it. I, I've kind of been running a, across the country. Um, oh, man, I don't know where to start. They're, uh, they're, they're, they're going to... Um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. So um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone, so give us something quick. Okay, um, um, okay, what, what we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, uh, they're, they're extra-dimensional beings that, That's an earlier like. precursor of the, um, space program made contact with, uh, they they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of uh, uh, a lot of aspects of, of of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters oh. that are coming. They the, the military. I'm sorry. The, the government knows about them, and. There's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now aren't. But they're not doing they're not doing anything. They are not they want the major population centers wiped out so that the the few that are left will be more easily controllable. Discharge. <laughs> I started getting... What was it? Connection lost. It took him off air. Oh, that's a plot twist. Well, that was honestly amazing. For an alien abduction type horror game, I feel like that took a really interesting take and the story was really well made. Like there was cut scenes and everything. Like this was, this was fantastic. And I love the plot twist at the end where the aliens have infiltrated our government and are just slowly enacting their plan to take over the world. I feel like they could just do it in like one foul swoop though. Like if they've got the technology to do like interspace travel, I feel like they're way more advanced than us and probably could just take us out like almost immediately. But I like this, honestly, I know I've been watching a lot of analog horror recently, but I feel like this would make for an amazing series. Like, it just fits the bill perfectly for analog horror. Like, the whole UFO sighting, it was it was really big, like, a few decades ago. And it just fits that aesthetic of, like, conspiracy theory mixed with strange sightings. And I, uh, I would just love it. But this game was fantastic. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. I think aliens are out there somewhere, but... I don't think they've made contact with us yet. Either way, here's a few people that definitely wouldn't abduct me into their UFO and murder me. Um, our channel members, thank you for supporting the channel and myself and not uh, not murdering me in a strange UFO. Thank you. Either way, thank you all for joining today's adventure and incident at Grove Lake. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And of course, hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember, with courage and determination, any adventure is possible. I hope to see you on our next one. Bye-bye.